In this question, we're asked to find the values of x between negative 180 and 180 for which the following is true. Give your answer to one decimal place. Okay, when I look at this, I firstly think we have tan of x plus something, so it's an addition formula. So I want to use that. So I look in my formula book and I find that tan of a plus b, two angles added together, is given by this formula here. It's given by tan a add tan b divided by 1 subtract tan a multiplied by tan b. So therefore, tan of x plus 45 degrees will be tan x plus tan 45 divided by 1 subtract tan x multiplied by tan 45. Now tan 45, it's one of the ones we should know, it's equal to 1. And if you want to check it, um, use your calculator to do so. But in degrees mode, uh, tan 45 gives me 1. So therefore, this thing here is 1 plus tan x, that would be 1 plus tan x, because that's 1, I'm just rewriting it, divided by 1 subtract tan x. Okay, so let's replace that by what we've got here, and let's keep going with trying to solve that equation. So instead of tan x plus 45, I'm going to write 1 plus tan x, divided by 1 subtract tan x, subtract tan x is equal to 4. Let's multiply everything by 1 subtract tan x on the denominator here. So 1 add tan x, subtract tan x, multiplied by 1 subtract tan x would equal 4, 1 subtract tan x. Let's expand out. 1 add tan x, subtract tan x, add tan squared x is equal to 4, subtract 4 tan x. Okay, here these tan x's cancel here. And what I could do is make this a quadratic with tan. So I've got a tan squared here, which I'm going to write tan squared x here. If I add 4 tan x to both sides, I get plus 4 tan x. And if I take away the 4 from both sides, I get subtract 3 is 0. Um, I could try and factorise this, but I'm not actually able to factorise this. So I'd use the quadratic formula. So tan x would be... Uh, let's think our a here, the coefficient of tan, uh, tan squared is, is 1, our b would be 4, and our c would be negative 3. So tan x is negative b, negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 16, take away 4, multiplied by a, which is 1, multiplied by c, which is negative 3, all of that divided by 2a, which would be 2. So tan x would be negative 4 plus or subtract 16 and that would end up being add 12 so that would be the square root of 28 all divided by 2 and just tidying this up I could write that as uh, root 7 root 4 okay this I could write root 28 as root 7 root 4 which is 2 root 7 so 2 root 7 over 2 so that's going to be negative 2 plus or minus root 7. So there's my tan x. It could be those two things there. And then what I do is I um, go ahead and try and work out all the answers. So tan x on the one hand is negative 2 plus root 7. And tan x on the other hand is negative 2 subtract, sorry, negative 2 subtract root 7. like that. So therefore x is the inverse tan of this stuff and x here would be the inverse tan of this here. So time to get the calculators out. We're looking a bit for degrees in between negative 180 and 180 to one decimal place. So calculator out, degrees mode, so inverse tan negative 2 plus square root 7 and I get 32.9 degrees, 32.9 degrees to one decimal place for that one. And this one here, it would be negative two, subtract root seven. So I get negative 77.9, so x is equal to negative 77.9 degrees. Now I need to check if there are any other solutions in case I'm missing some. Remember the tan graph looks like this. That's up to 90, that's down to negative 90, and it goes up here to 180, and um, 
it would go down here to negative 180 like that. Now, my answers are 32.9, so there's one answer there, but th clearly there'll be another answer there. So it's 32.9 from 0, so it'd be 32.9 from the negative 180. So it'd be negative 180 plus 32.9. And the other answers is negative 77, which would be here somewhere. So you can see there's another answer over here, which if this is 180, it would be 180 subtract the 70. 7.9. So what are my potential answers? Well my answers x could be 32.9 uh, and then I've got myself uh, negative 180 plus the 32.9 which would be at negative 147.1 so it'd be negative 147.1 and what would I get over here? Well, I've got this uh, negative 77.7. .7. I'd also have 180 subtract 77.9, which would give me 102.1. So I'd get x is negative 77.9 and 102.1. So lining these up in the right order, x is therefore equal to the following, negative 147.1 degrees, negative 77.9 degrees, 32.9 degrees and 102.1 degrees, all to one decimal place. Obviously, you could substitute those back up in here, it, up in here, to check you've got the right answer, but otherwise, we're done.